This is a PlayStation 3. I mean, obviously, it literally says it right and there. And this is Minecraft for the PlayStation 3. And this is your mom for PlayStation 3. Okay, that was pretty bad, I'm sorry. But would you believe me if I said I survived 100 days in Minecraft PlayStation 3 Edition without dying, while also building Stumpy's house, a huge OG castle, and much more? Only starting off with a single oak block. So sit back and relax, because I'm about to tell you the story of how I transformed this boring plains into my new huge home. Also, if you enjoyed this type of content, please drop a like and maybe even a sub because I'm trying to hit 5,000 subscribers before 2025. So, please help me out with that goal. Enjoy the video. Day one began and I did what any other sane Minecraft player would do. Got wood, made a wooden sword, got food, got more wood, started exploring and I eventually found a village which had a blacksmith and really good loot. I then stole the pathetic blacksmith's furnaces and came across this guy who was growing some suspicious green plant in his house. I knew I shouldn't have seen that so I skedaddled out of there in case he called the ops on me and I decided to go mining to level up my gear and I eventually found some iron. Stu American. After some more exploring I noticed it was approaching night time and I needed a bed, which villages do not supply in this version. Due to this unfortunate fact I decided it was a good idea to go hunting for sheep, which was easy enough. I then crafted a bed and took a nice little nap and woke up on day 2. On day 2 I woke up and checked my skin packs, looked at the birthday skin packs, and I couldn't help but notice that the newest versions of Minecraft Legacy don't have these. They've been completely removed. So I asked my boy Avery about it because he knows a lot more about Legacy than me. Also Avery, what the beep dude? Look at this, alright? Help and options, change skin. Why is it in the PS4 and PS5 Legacy version, okay? Why are these skins not here? Why are the birthday skins not there, dude? Where'd they go? Uh, they removed even from Xbox 360 for some reason. I don't know why they did that. Like, why, bro? It's so odd, bro. I want these skins in my Legacy world. Please, bro. After being confused for a minute, I went out to look for a good area to build my amazing base. Only find a boring desert village, which I skipped right past. I then found another savannah village, but that one was boring too. However, there is luckily a desert temple opposite the village, which you already know I went to, bro. I mined down, collected the loot, and dipped. I was also getting a lot of comments saying my mic was too low, so I decided to fix it right there and then. I use this mic right here, boys. Um, is this mic good, boys? Let me know. Is this a good mic right here? After successfully destroying everyone's eardrums, I went mining to ease my mind. I ended up finding a lot of iron, which I was happy about until my mother came in and embarrassed me on stream. Who is that? It's my mother, bro. My mother's trying to in embarrass me on stream. That was my mother, dude. After that humiliating moment, I created a full set of iron armor. Next, I went strip mining for diamonds, which went very, very, very successfully. My chat was then asking me if I could complete some very difficult challenges, like this one, for example. Uh, drop a piece of coal in lava for a sub. <sighs> Here you go, man. Oh, no. Frick. That was my baby. That was my baby. I think it's also worth mentioning that I avoided mining any gold, which I end up regretting later on because my monkey brain thought it was useless in this version. Speaking of regretting things, you will regret skipping this part of the video. You know how crucial it is to protect your Minecraft loot? Well, I've got the ultimate shield for your Minecraft fortress. NordVPN. Imagine this. You're deep into a Minecraft session, mining diamonds, looting bastions, having a great time. But then, a creeper tries to sneak into your base. But you're not scared because you got NordVPN. You and your base are pretty much impossible to destroy. Not only does it make you invisible in Minecraft, but also in the online world. With NordVPN, you can feel like you've got fully enchanted netherite armor. NordVPN also encrypts your connection, making it as impenetrable as bedrock. And the best part, NordVPN unlocks a whole new dimension of possibilities. Want to access region-locked movies and TV shows, for example? Well, NordVPN is your way of accessing those things. So click the link at the top of the description to get NordVPN for full internet privacy and security and support your boy. Back to the video. After being signed out, of PlayStation Network. Sleep, because it's probably nighttime, right? Oh, you have been signed out from- the What? Bro. I mean, signed out of PlayStation Network. What the beep? Why? And having an intense fight with some creepers, I was convinced I was strong enough to take on the Wilder Mansion. But I had to recruit some soldiers to help me out with this dangerous mission. So I broke in, and I went bonkers, destroying anyone who got in my way. I flexed my food after. This is the grub for today, boys. Looks delicious. Looks delicious. Now I would say I looted the entire bottom floor of the mansion, but there's literally nothing to loot. Therefore I went upstairs. But the same thing happened up there too. I mean, come on Minecraft. Like what are you doing? Apart from getting some books for a future enchantment setup and a few totems undying, there's really nothing of value there. Or so I thought. Man, foreshadowing is awesome. I'm also not going to mention the top floor because it was just as bad as the bottom two. And just like that on day four, I had survived the Wilden Mansion. Yep. Yeah, I know. 
I'm a pro at Minecraft. No need to state the obvious. Okay, I already know. I then spent the rest of the day four and five trying to find a good area to build a house, which I did on day six. I eventually found a great area to build my house and decided to mark it with an enchantment table and a bed. All right, bed is gonna be here. Enchantment table, here, okay? I then built a classic nether portal. I thought it would be a good idea to leave my wolves in the overworld in case they had to change their heart and jumped into some lava, um, but that didn't really work out in my favor. Watch this. Sure. All right. Oh. I tried to break the, the grass so he could sit down. Following that idiotic mistake, I hopped into my nether portal expecting the worst. But first, I had to make sure Travis was dripped out. Now, if you don't know who Travis is, he's my skeleton in the background. Uh, yes, he has a name, okay. After I made sure Travis could pull in the hose, I noticed I spawned next to a nether fortress. This was big. I ended up looting it for a few minutes before heading back to the overworld to get settled into my future home. Crafting furnaces, chests, crafting tables, you name it. But there's one thing I didn't have. Food. It's food. I didn't have food. There goes an old saying. Give a man a fish, feed him for a day. Teach a man to fish, infinite food glitch. And that's when I realized I could make a fishing rod to harvest as many invisible fish as I want in this game. But of course there's only one problem. I didn't have string. So I did what any logical person with a brain would do and I went back to the wilderness mansion to find some string. While searching for some spiders to kill, I spotted some endermen. So I looked into their big beautiful purple eyes with awe and they rushed towards me to give me a huge kiss. Now endermen are not great kissers and they actually kind of hurt so I was alone in this wooden mansion, low on health with no food and two totems on dying. It was not looking good for me bro. But they were either uninterested in me or were blinded by my handsomeness because I couldn't find them again. I could hear their screams but I generally couldn't see them anywhere. Oh, uh, 100 pixels. Mine has lots of pixels, yeah. I was essentially playing Marco Polo, but with a Minecraft Enderman, dude. I eventually got bored of looking for the Enderman, so I headed upstairs to the top floor of the mansion where the Minecraft gods must have heard my calls. I found a spider and it gave me the exact amount of string I needed for a fishing rod. Two string! Yes! Boys, let's go home. Now I just need to make it out alive. But wait, there's two Endermen waiting for me at the exit. So of course I fought them, but hey, I ended up nearly dying in the process, luckily being knocked into a random hole of water in the mansion. I fortunately made it out of the mansion alive and came home to some nice cooked steak. I crafted my fishing rod and went to sleep. It has been officially over a week in Minecraft days and I woke up with determination. Determination to really grind Minecraft and get some blaze rods. So that's exactly what I did. I traveled to the nether, collected some nether warts, got KSI to subscribe to my channel. Yes, the real one. Oh my god, KSI just subscribed? No way! Is that the real KSI? I farmed some blazes until I had enough to leave this hellhole of a place. Through the nether. I also asked my chat if they knew any methods of getting XP fast, and my guy McCrafter came up with something I should have thought of. Mine quartz. Oh, that's a good call. That's a good call. Mining quartz. I ended off today with some very peaceful fishing and woke up on day 9. I got out of bed on day 9 and ran straight for the nether portal. I entered the nether and went on a huge quartz mining spree. And at long last, I reached level 30. Oh, level 30. I also killed an enderman which luckily dropped an ender eye. I went back home and slept on night 9. I woke up again on day 10. I decided to do a thing for everyone that donated or became member while I was on this world. And that was to put their name on a sign and how much they donated. I think it was a nice thing to do and kind of represented Stampy's old love garden. I also went mining for the first time since day 2 due to me running out of materials like iron, diamonds and building blocks. I also wanted a mine next to my base for convenience too. I then flattened out the area where I wanted to build my cozy home before going to sleep and waking on day 11. On day 11 I got straight back to working on demolishing the grass that was in my way. I quickly got to take a mine in dirt and went to the nether to see if I could find any endermen. And well, I couldn't really find any so I went back home and started fishing again to ignore the sound of my parents fighting in the background. Also my parents are fighting in the background so I apologize for the sound. I ended off day 11 by terraforming and then I went to sleep. Day 12, arguably the most action packed day. I collected seeds, planted the seeds, collected more seeds, planted more seeds, collected more seeds, and then I fell asleep. Look bro, it ain't much, but it's honest work. It is now day 13. I asked my chat what I should build as my base, and I got some interesting suggestions. Someone in my chat suggested that I build the TU14 tutorial world, and I instantly fell in love with that idea. But I realized it would take way too long. So I decided to go for a different tutorial world, the TU11 castle. I then continued to terraform my area and went to sleep. I started day 14 with a goal, get stone bricks. But I couldn't get any well silk touch. Now technically, I could just smelt some cobblestone, but that's boring, bro. You must not boring, go into the nether. So I went to my least favorite place in the world, the nether 
I got some quartz to get some XP to enchant my pickaxe so I can hopefully have a chance of getting Silk Touch. I came back home from the quartz mining and XP gathering and I realized I already had Silk Touch. So I tried to get Fortune instead, which didn't happen. And just before going to bed, I went cobblestone collecting and had one more search for Enderman, which was unsuccessful. Day 15 was a new day. Today was the day I decided that I should start working on my base. But what better way to show you than a good classic good times with scare type time lapse. Here we go. Finally, it was finished. For now. I then ended the first stream with some pig step and some fishing. My second stream continued on from day 16 and it's also the stream where I made a stupid mistake. I recorded my gameplay without a mic or a webcam. Now the stream had a mic and a webcam, but my gameplay did not, so I apologize for that one. I spent the rest of day 16 fishing, farming and building. Day 17 included building some nice detailed Picasso walls. Just look at that wall, so beautiful. I then started work on my base again, and wait, is that Mrs. Puff? Damn, shawty, you fine as hell. I decided to go mining again for some stone that I needed for the castle base, and I ended up mining a good amount of ore as well. And of course, I found some diamonds, boys. Let's flipping go, man. But well, you wouldn't believe it. I found more diamonds. Let's go, boy. I then went to sleep after a hard day's work. I woke up on day 18 and started to work on my house, but decided it was getting a bit tedious, so I went exploring. I found half of a woodland mansion and looted as much of it as possible. But to be honest bro, the loot wasn't great, so I headed out. I then went back to the Acacia village and harvested some potatoes because, well, I'm Irish. It would be wrong of me to not harvest at least some potatoes. And with my Irish look, I found a cleric, which if you didn't already know, they sell ender pearls, which are impossible to obtain without trading in this version, I swear bro. Now I don't know if you saw or not with the 144p quality, but the first trade with the cleric was gold, nine gold for one emerald bro. But I didn't have any gold, so I asked my chat how to get gold easily. Some people said go mining again, which I didn't really want to do. And some people said go to a mesa biome, which to be honest man, I thought it was a pretty genius idea. So I went and of course there is no gold to be found. So I just kept on mining until day 21 where I dug back up and got back to building more Picasso walls. I then decided to go through some of my digital PS3 games. And it was actually a better collection of games than I remember. I, I had uh, Shakespeare's, I had Grand Theft Auto 5, Cube, Eat Them, Far Cry 4, Handball 16. That was actually a good game. Snakeball, uh, Joe Danger, Just Cause 2, Go Some Later, um, Story Mode, um, and then 2015, I had Grand Theft Auto 4. So yeah. After that, I went through some of the old messages I had received from years of playing Call of Duty, and man, they were funny as hell. I have some good hate messages right here. Back when I used to play Call of Duty, my GF left me. This guy, this guy said, my GF left me, bro. That's what he says. My GF left me. I need rank 10. Uh, I ain't have a all myth. What? My GF left me. I need rank 10. Diff Irish dumb. Learn how to play this. <laughs> Player. You know what this is from? I went into uh, Modern Warfare 3. I kept dying because I joined this guy's game. I you really like there's survival games on Modern Warfare 3. I kept on dying because I was so trash, right? I kept on dying. I, he had to revive me every time, right? Or else we'd lose. <laughs> the fact that I know where that's from as well. Raisins in skin packs, please. What's that even mean, bro? Oh, that was the FBI as well. Frick. I'd be in trouble. I ended off day 21 by fishing. No surprises here. I then woke up and fished. No surprises here. I quickly got bored of fishing though, so I went on a bit of a gambling adventure. You see, I only had one eye of ender. So I decided it would be a good idea to throw it. I just mined down to where it brought me. And it brought me to my near death. A few blocks later, I found a stronghold. And of course, some diamonds, baby. As well as some ink sacks, which will come in handy later. While looking for the portal, I looked in a chest and found an extra ender pro. And a weird lighting glitch. Also, I started recording with my face cam and mic again, so the game quality is no longer going to be in 144p. 
I eventually found the portal after a little bit of cheating. But don't worry, it's built into the game. I then counted how many eyes vendor I needed for the portal. We need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, we need nine. I probably could have done that in my head, but you know. I went back home, which was surprisingly close. Since I was low on health, I harvested some wheat for bread and then went to sleep. Day 23 rolled around and I built some more of my castle, then went to nether for, you guessed it, more ender pearls. After realizing I'm probably not going to find any, I decided to mine some quartz to get to level 30 again. Following my level 30 achievement, I went back home to enchant a nerd diamond pickaxe in the hopes of getting fortune 3, but of course I got so touch again. Bro, sometimes I feel like this game is just trolling me, alright? Like, what the hell? I then went down to my mine again to get more stone for the base until I was tired enough to sleep, but not before a creeper decides to ruin my day. Bro, couldn't- oh my- Oh my god, Jesus. I know you died. Day 24 literally just involved me building more of my base and trading more gold with some scammer villagers, then ending a bunch of innocent animals, getting two ender pearls from some endermen, and finally sleeping. Day 25. A quarter of the way done. I went out to look for cows not to only make a food farm, but also to make a letter farm for emeralds. And that was the end of the second stream. Also, every stream is in a playlist linked below, so if you're interested in watching all 100 full days, click the link below, but not before you watch the whole video, because if you watch the whole video, it helps out a lot, you know, so thank you. I then started my third stream, continuing on from day 25, but this time in a cave to find some gold and argue about whether girls wear grey clothes or not. Not all girls wear grey, dude. Not all girls wear grey, man. Okay, that's what people need to get in their head. Alright, stop. To prove this theory, I hosted my own fashion show. I then talked about a weird experience I had in school. I think the worst thing I ever heard was somebody, this girl in my Spanish class said, I look like her uncle. And I said, yo, how old is your uncle? And she said, 42 years old. I was like, bro, what the hell, man? Why did you say that, dude? That makes me feel so self-conscious, man. Yeah, I just felt awful for the rest of the day because now I just I was just thinking like, man, I look like someone's uncle, dude. Showed off my receding hairline. <laughs> bro, I'm balding, dude. I'm balding, man. Look at that. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> Do you guys see why I wear um, a cap now and I put my hair like that, bro? You guys see now? How a creeper break my heart? Oh my god, yo! Don't bully me, dude. They're bullying me. Um, kind of different. Wait. Have creepers, they would never blow up a spawner. Spawners back in my day would be unblowable, but now they blow up just like that. Back in my day, that was never a thing, though. But of course, it's now a thing, and it ruins my day every time I realize that that's a thing that they added. Found some diamonds. Yeah. If I was like, if I wanted to date an adult, that wouldn't really make sense because I am also a miner. And decided I had enough of this PTSD cave and mined up and went back to my base. I call I call BS, you know, I'm calling BS right now, dude. I'm calling BS. Hello, BS. Ah, I see. Okay, yeah, yeah. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. All right. Good to know. Yeah. All right. Bye. Bye. Yep. I called BS and um, they said it is BS. So since the creeper from earlier wanted to destroy my enchanting setup, I had to go back to the wooden mansion once again to get some more books. I then went back home and woke up on day 28. I woke up and realized I had over 30 levels, so I decided to test my luck and enchant to get another diamond pickaxe. Just for a chance. Just a tiny chance to get fortune 3. And I got it, boys. Let's flip and go, man. Let's... I got it, boys. Yes, sir. I then named my perfect pickaxe Jeremy, because my chat asked me to, and after, I named my silk touch pickaxe Gravedigger. Following that, I crafted some rails, because my idea was to bring some villagers from the Acacia village over to my base. But that didn't really end up happening. What actually ended up happening was me accidentally wasting a bunch of gold and emeralds because I was too busy reading chat. I went home and slept after what I'd call a very productive day. Oh, my face is gone. After doing so, I went mining to test out my Fortune 3 pickaxe. While mining, I was trying to set up a very cool thing called Media Share, which coincidentally is the reason this stream had to be deleted. Now, if you know what Media Share is, you can probably guess what happened. Let's just say it wasn't very fun. Yo, Pierre, you want to come out here? 
I then started up a new stream and continued mining for three whole days before getting a strange notification. Boys, I got a trophy. What's that trophy for? Let's see. If that's 100 days, then this video is going to be... This, this video is going to suck. Passing the time. What? Bro, that's 100 days? Bro, what? 2014, bro. You guys can see. I've, I used to play this game so much. 2014, bro. That's not 100 days. Yeah, I think it's counting from 2014. That's right, boys. Our mission wasn't over yet. We still had at least another... 68 days to go but it's fine i was having fun anyway i then dug out of the cave on day 32 with over a stack of diamonds in my inventory and i decided i needed to start taking the base building seriously but not before counting some sheep but then i realized i needed some wool for the floor of my base which i didn't have wool so i went to the trusty woodland mansion that was filled with carpet and the exact colors i needed too so i took as much as possible and headed back home i then placed some carpet along with a few stone bricks and called it a day day 34 wasn't productive at all Fia's sons just decided to yap 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 for 12 minutes and then go to sleep after. But I had a reason for yapping for the whole of day 34 and that reason is that I was smelting a huge amount of gold for the 2 day mining session earlier. I then went to the Acacia village on day 35 and traded that gold with the one and only cleric I had, this time making sure I wasn't distracted by chat. And I was only able to get one ender pro from the guy. Following my devastating financial loss, I went back home to build up some rooms from the original castle. I made some slow but great progress and then caught some z's. Day 36 started off great. Why would you you need to make a joke. Look at your channel. Construction on the base continued until I ran out of stone bricks. I then mined some stone to craft into some stone bricks and worked on the base again until my bedtime. I woke up on day 37, I mined some obsidian for... I actually don't know. Anyway, I then finished the main ceiling of my castle and then went to the nether for a blaze rod so then I could craft a broom stand. I then made some more progress on my base before going to bed. Day 38, I made some stairs. And then I slept, and then that was the end of the third stream. My fourth stream continued on festively from day 39 and I decided to go mining until day 40 where I found some wheat for food and then wandered over to the Acacia village to do some trading. Like an idiot, I read chat while trading, meaning I wasted a lot of gold once again. No, bro! Uh, I did it again, bro. After such a disaster, I realized I needed some sleep. Day 41 started off with some building and of course some mining for iron which I needed for the base of my castle. I then dug up back to my base with a huge amount of iron and slept. I then woke up on day 42 and smoked with all of the iron that I got. JO0SHY2Z donated $2 <laughs> through Super Chat. Put this in the bit er mummer 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 mum. What? While waiting for all of the iron to smelt, I decided to explore some of the map, which then led me back to the Acacia village where I was shocked to see that my cleric was selling emeralds for gold again. <gasps> <laughs> So I ran back home and on the way back I found an enderman that luckily dropped an ender pearl. I quickly ran back home, slept, woke up, grabbed all the gold I had and rushed back to the village. I then traded all the gold that I had with the villager so I could buy one more ender pearl. Now that I had two more ender pearls I decided it would be a good idea to craft them into eyes of ender just because why not. I then worked on the base some more, enchanted my fishing rod and then worked on a dock for fishing. I got tired of building though so I hit the hay. No, I mean like I, I actually hit the hay. <laughs> Anyway, I used that hay to breed my cows for some future food, and I went mining again. It only took me 5 minutes to get bored of mining, so I went to the nether to look for something unimaginable. Ender pearls. Now, I know, I know, I know, I'm doing the same thing over and over and over again, but later I'll break out a matrix and beat that fat dragon. And hizzle. I looked around for some endermen for about 9 minutes and decided it would be best to just give up and go back home and have a nice rest. But no, I love repetition and I went mining for another 2 minutes because why not man? But then I headed back up to the surface, also shout out to all the people on these signs, your support helps out a lot. And I ended my stream.
My fifth stream continued on from day 45 where I of course went mining for only 8 minutes where I then resurfaced and slept. Also, I hope you like my drip. I woke and smoked all the ores that I gathered yesterday. I then went hunting for sheep which didn't really go too well so I decided to chop down a load of trees for a dock and drift off to sleep. I continued hunting for sheep on day 47 which actually went well this time. So well in fact that I forgot that you could actually get stacks of wool from woolen mansions until I saw one right in front of me. Woolen mansions, they contain rooms full of wool. So, in that case, that means we can get wool in the Willow Mansion. Got the cash on me, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go, dude. I just, oh my god, what a, what a brainwave, man. Oh my gosh. So I burst into the Willow Mansion and took all the wool I could. Now you're probably wondering why I need all this wool, and I'll give you two reasons. Reason number one is that I need all the wool for the floor of my base, which I mentioned earlier. And reason number two is that I wanted to try to build a Minecraft sign above the castle like in the actual tutorial world. After stripping the mansion of all of its wool, I went back to the castle to sleep. On day 48, I instantly rushed to the broken woodland mansion next to the Acacia Village and took all the wool there too. After filling my pockets with some fluffy blue wool, I went clay harvesting for some bricks that I'll need later for the castle. Now here's where a major problem comes in. The Minecraft tutorial world sign is made out of black wool and stone. Now, gathering stone wasn't gonna be a problem. I've been doing it since day seven, but gathering black wool on the other hand, wasn't gonna be so easy. The only way you can get black dye in PS3 edition at least is by killing squids. So of course I went searching for squids around my world. It was approaching nighttime though, so I got scared and ran back to the castle to have a nice nap. After waking and baking, I went out on a huge search for squids, which I'm not gonna lie, was extremely boring mainly because I couldn't find even one squid. After about 17 minutes of searching, I decided to give up and have a nice rest. Day 50, halfway through the challenge and the video. Thank you for making it this fair. I appreciate it. The morning of day 50 wasn't much different to the evening of day 49. I had one last search for squids before taking an L and heading back home to think of a different way of getting black dye. Before day 51, I decided to not give up and keep on looking for those damn squids. I mean, what are the odds of having zero squids in your world? Clearly very high because I didn't find any, not a single one. How? Anyway, I kept on looking until it was time to sleep and wake on day 51. I continued searching on day 51 before giving up once again and going back to my base to sleep I really think about how to get this stupid black dye. I woke up on day 52 and had an Einstein mega brain moment. I remembered seeing some ink sacks in the stronghold chest. Remember the ones that I mentioned would come in handy later? I then grabbed them and ran back home to doze off. I woke up and gathered some sheep to dye black and then bred them together so that I'll have kids with black wool. Therefore, creating infinite black wool. Now it did take a while to find the sheep in the first place so after doing so I went to sleep. I started building the roof to my castle on day 54 which literally took all day so I went to bed after. I then carried on with the roof and then started to work on a downstairs room in my castle and a pathway near the entrance too. After a hard day's work I called it a night. I woke up on day 56 and continued work on my stone slab pathway before fixing up my sheep farm to give them more grass to eat. I then gathered some more leaves, placed them on the outside of my castle and ended my stream. My sixth stream continued on from day 56 where I worked on the pathway and base some more before going back to bed. Day 57 was quite a productive day. I ran around my base like a headless chicken for around 3 minutes and I went to the woodland mansion to collect some carpet for my floor. I then worked on the castle for some time and I went to sleep. I woke up on day 58 and got straight back to work. Since I sheared a lot of sheep on my wool farm on the previous day, I decided to collect some roses. <coughs> Sorry, I mean poppies to dye some wool red so I could stay true to the TU11 tutorial world castle floor. I then got tired and slept. I woke on day 59 and replaced all the carpet with wool. A very tiny and subtle change, I know, but I wanted to make it as accurate as possible. I then looked for more poppies, which can I just mention is so stupid because the dye is called rose red. Whatever, man, I don't care. I'm not mad. You're mad. I'm not angry, dude. Not at all. I dyed some more wool and snoozed. Day 60, boys. We're almost there. We're at the home stretch. I carried on with my woolly floor. I then killed a random enderman that broke into my castle and luckily for me, dropped an enderpearl. But since I'm an absolute idiot with 10 IQ, I accidentally threw it and instantly lost it. I then went mining for gold, not for trading, but for the downstairs walls of my castle. Ridiculous, I know, mainly because gold is hard to find. And I know what all of you smelly, privileged, sweaty, neckbeard Java players are gonna say. Oh, well, Feed, why don't you just go to the nether and get some gold nuggets from the floor, you idiot? And to that I say, Objection! Remember, we're playing on Minecraft PlayStation 3 Edition, 1.13. Three updates behind the nether thing. Anyway, I nearly died because I'm booted at the game, but I thought of my Minecraft hero Dream and clutched up to survive. I also found an enderman while mining, but he didn't drop anything, so I just headed back up. But not before finding a spider spawner, hell yeah. I resurfaced on the early morning of day 61. I raced against the sun for my sleep. 
which I got first place in because I did indeed end up sleeping. I woke up and genuinely forgot that I needed to use the gold for the walls in my non-creepy basement and ran to the Acacia Village to trade gold for emeralds once again. Also, to represent all of my American viewers that I love, Stu American, I decided to name the Acacia Village Orange County, which is apparently in California, best state in America. I then ran home, looked in a few chests, and I ran to Egypt where there were no villagers to be seen. So I went back to my base again to sleep. I got out on day 62 and gathered all my emeralds along with some coal and headed to Egypt again to scout the area property for villagers. And to my surprise, there are four villagers still alive. And to my luck, two villagers were trading emeralds in exchange for coal. So of course I sold all my coal and actually made a huge profit, going from 15 emeralds to 26. With all these emeralds, I naturally ran over to Orange County to buy some ender pros. Also boys, we have enough for ender pros to go to the end. Boys, we go to the end today. I then skedaddled back home and slept. On the morning of day 63, I crafted all the eyes of ender I needed and mined down to the end portal. I placed the eyes in and it was finally time head back up and prepare for the fight. So I crafted a bow, enchanted it with the best dragon killing enchantments, flame one and I'm breaking three. I then grabbed some totems on dime, got some food, upgraded my sword to sharpness four, grabbed some building blocks, upgraded my boat to power one and headed back to the portal. This was it boys. This is what we've all been waiting for. Everything I've ever done in my whole entire life has led me up to this moment. And I will make sure it goes on in history. Filled with excitement and fear, I jumped into end portal, expecting the worst. But then I remembered. Just like that, I had ended Gene. But it's not the end yet. We still got like 20 days left to beat the Wither and finish our base. I went back home to sleep after such an amazing and intense fight. After waking up on day 65, I went back to the end, killed an Enderman for an Ender Pearl, stole Gene's egg, and teleported to the end city. Now you can find me in the comments about this, but personally, I don't think time even exists in the end or the nether, so I'll be on day 65 until the next day in the overworld. Anyway, once I arrived at the end city, I went straight to the end ship to get my sweet, juicy, luscious, amazing, thick, stiff Elytra. Oh yeah, we got the Elytra, hell yeah. That's where right now. Speaking of elytras, legacy elytras are actually so awkward. Like you turn at an angle. It's really hard to explain, but you turn at an angle. And half the time you can't even like take off from the ground. So why I get it? I'm not sure. I guess just have it. Also, is it pronounced elytra or elytra? I don't know. What I do know is that the loot from the city was actually pretty decent as always. And after collecting some sugar shells, I headed back home to sleep. Day 66 was unproductive. I named and died some sugar boxes and went back to the NC to get one sugar shell. After getting my sugar shell, I went back home to sleep. I woke up on day 67 and worked on my basement a little bit more until I got bored and went mining. After collecting some iron, gold and even diamonds, I headed back up on the night of day 67 and snoozed. I got off my cozy bed on day 68 and worked on my basement again before ending my stream. Not continuing for a whole month. A whole month has passed since I last streamed the 100 days world and I decided to get back into the swing of things. So I hopped into my nether portal on day 68 and determined it was a good idea to look for some wither skeleton souls. Now remember, time doesn't pass in the nether so we can spend as much time here as we want. But I didn't really want to spend 3 hours in the nether so I looked high and low for some skeletons while talking about my DMs with Ice Spice. Like bro, I tried to um, message her on Instagram. I said, hey, you wanna hang out sometime, Ice Spice? I'm a popular YouTuber. You probably, you've, you've probably heard of me before. Feed stuns. She didn't respond, so I just spammed, please, 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 please. Like, I'll show you screenshots if you want to, but yeah. Um, I tried to message Ice Spice, but it didn't really work out. And finally, after an hour and eight minutes, I had gotten the third skull. Very, oh, boys, we got the third one. We got the third skull. We are going home right now. I swear to God. We can now fight the Wither today, which is exactly what I did. So I ran back to the portal and went straight under my base to spawn the Wither. But I realized that was a really bad idea, so I decided to spawn it under a random mountain. But now I realized that was also a bad idea because that's where I was going to build Stampy's house. So my boy McCrafter came in clutch again and told me to settle for spawning and fighting the Wither in the Nether. Also, we're on day 69. Nice. I then went to Nether and mined up to the Nether roof, breaking Jeremy in the process. 
boys, can we get like an F in chat for Jeremy? You know, can we get an F in the comments? You know, I'm not streaming right now. This is not a stream, unfortunately. I mean, it is, but like it's a video. After making a big enough hole in the nether roof, I placed the soul sand and placed the skulls. It was time, boys. It was finally time. Time to beat the second boss of Minecraft PlayStation 3 Edition. Without equipping my chest plate, I started to fight, quickly realizing that I came completely unprepared. I mean, come on. I came with armor that was half broken. Can you blame me though? I was hyped. I was gonna break his arms and I was gonna crack his neck and I was gonna feed him to the chickens. And I'm gonna just hit. After a couple of hits, he was down to half health. The wither then escaped the nether roof hole I made and got out to the open. It also didn't help that I had knockback two on my sword. I had given him a few more slaps before he eventually died. <laughs> oh my god! No! No! Don't! No! 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 Don't knock me back into the explosion. Please just leave me alone. Just go away. Eat. I right, should be good. No! No! Don't make this for nothing. What feed? Yes, I got it, boys. Finally. After 69 days, nice. I had gotten the nether stir. Once I got the nether stir, I raced back home and slept. After waking up on day 70, I went to mining for obsidian to craft a beacon. I didn't end up finding any, but now that I think of it, I could have just went to the end. But after failing to find any obsidian, I went back up and slept before ending my stream. So before I say anything, I just want to announce that I'm a moron. I know, surprising news, but like, generally I was streaming for an hour before realizing that I wasn't recording. Now that doesn't mean I'm not going to show you what happened during that hour. Now I did screen record what happened in that hour, and that's why the next two minutes are going to be low quality, but it'll be good after that, hopefully. Anyway, I continued on from last stream on day 71 with something special, a little help if you will. You see, up until now, I've been using an IBX Toycat video, where you YouTuber by the way, to guide me through the TU11 tutorial world, which was, you know, as you can imagine, pretty difficult. I decided it was hard enough to copy from a video, so I decided to download the TU11 world on my PC and copied it from there, making it 10 times easier to build correctly. I then went mining for stone for the 100th time while talking about how I just woke up. But yeah, I, I literally just woke up, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I did just wake up. After getting enough stone, I worked on the outside walls and I started on an actual room in my castle. I soon realized that I needed some bookshelves, so I ran over to the Woodland Mansion to pick some up until the morning. Day 72 was just spent working on the new room, placing a bunch of bookshelves, bricks, stone bricks, and blast panes. It soon turned nighttime, so I went hunting for some creepers because I needed gunpowder for rockets. The morning of day 73 rolled on fast, and the rest of the day was just spent working on the base. Again, I knew I didn't have many days left, so I locked in and just focused on building the base. On the night of day 73, I went mining once again for something special. Stone. Incredible, I know. Day 74 was the same. Just working on the base and looking for some lava to use in the base. I headed back up, and this is where I realized I wasn't recording the whole time. Despite that, I continued building, fishing, farming, and sleeping. I woke up on day 76 and finished the ceiling off in my new room. I then made some tweaks and then the room was done. We can now move on to the next room, the enchanting room. And boy, does this room give me heebie-jeebies. The room is literally just made out of bookshelves, and the wooden mansion was already running out of them. But that wasn't a problem because we have a second mansion. So I gathered some wood, made my seven cup of tea that day, and came back to place some more bookshelves. I then slept and woke up on day 77 to place more bookshelves. Again. Also, let me know your opinion on my impression of Minecraft YouTubers. Oh my god, guys, we're gonna do mod reviews per 87. Guys, it is insane. Drop a like. It's insane, guys. Drop a like. Subscribe. Guys, oh my god. No, it's not. It's not like that. Like, they're chill YouTubers, you know. They don't, like, they don't get overhyped, you know. I watch Ibex Toycat as well. Um, he's pretty cool. I worked on the back stairs of my castle and then the library before mining some more stone. The morning of day 79 approached fast and I needed some smooth stone slabs, so I went to the woodland mansion to gather some. I then worked on the library again, blah, yeah, blah, yeah, blah. Yeah. And the woodland mansion again, blah, yeah, blah, yeah. blah. And now we're on day 79. Day 79 was the same as yesterday. Just worked on the library some more. I'd run out of books though, so I went to the stronghold to collect books from there. Great idea, right? Well, that's what I thought until I went to the stronghold and it's just my luck that I spawned out with library. Of course, man, of course. I headed back up on day 80. Yes, you guys heard that right. Day 80. 20 more days to go, boys. Also, a little side question, but do you guys like my creeper mug? I already know you guys do, but uh, anyway. I head over to the second woodland mansion for some books. I head out of the woodland mansion on the night of day 80 with some subway surfers in the corner to keep people engaged. Day 81 crept up and I finished the roof of the library. I then went to wood gathering that night to craft a table and some chairs and I went to sleep. I started off my 82nd morning with some peaceful fishing and farming. I then did my best Karen impression. I don't mind. It's okay, bro. 
You will be banned from the channel, buddy. Yeah, you will be. Mm hmm. Yeah, you will be. Yeah, is that right, man? You will be banned. Yeah, you will be banned. So let's go. After being absolutely cring, I went back to the second William Mansion to get more books before heading back to my castle and ending my stream. I started off my ninth stream on the night of day 82, getting straight to work and finally gathering materials for Stumpy's house. Is what I would say if I was lying. Instead, I just ran around and then went to sleep. I woke up on day 83 knowing I had a job to do, build Stumpy's house. So I gathered the materials I would need, like snow and snow and also snow. I then grabbed some blue wool from my chest along with some oak planks. And by the 84th night, it was pretty much complete. Now, I'm gonna tell you something. But please promise you guys won't get mad. But when I said Stampy's house, I really only meant his bedroom. Mainly because I never really watched Stampy when I was younger. And his bedroom is probably the most iconic thing about his let's plays. I would say, in my opinion. Come at me if you want. But I know, probably a big shock. Or maybe not. I don't know. The whole of day 85 was spent just looking for one chicken to give me an egg. Why did I need an egg so desperately? You may be asking. Well, Stampy's room, of course, has cake in it. Pause. And to craft cake in Minecraft, you need an egg. So yeah, I wasted a valuable day just looking for an egg. Good job, feed. Good job. I decided that I needed to work on the front of the castle before the inside or behind because, well, it wasn't looking great. So I made shears and sheared a bunch of leaves for the front pathway of the castle. After placing some leaves, I bone milled the ground for some grass and flowers. Following that, I worked on finishing the front walls for the base until day 87. Uh, one, two, three, four. Yo, wait, who is this? Who's flexing their membership for next? Yo, Andy Flaves, thank you, sir. I appreciate it, dude. Thank you, Andy. Andy, you will be in the video. Andy you will be in the 100 days video. Thank you, sir. Let's put Andy right here. The morning of day 87 came around fast, and I was still working on the left wall. I ran out of cobble pretty soon, though, so of course I ran down and mined some stone. After four years of mining stone, I destroyed my enchantment setup and worked on the library before getting straight back to work on the walls to construct again. On the morning of day 88, I worked on the library a little bit more. I then extended the outside pathway and the walls again, finally starting work on the right hand wall. I was on a roll with the walls and ran out of stone to use again, so I went mining, having an interesting conversation. Actually, no, bro, how was your Friday, Tax? How was your Friday? Let me know. Hope your Friday was good. Hope it was amazing. Hope it was just the best Friday anybody has ever had in the whole entire world of the earth and the atmosphere in general. Man, I always have a great conversation while mining for cobble. That's why you should check out the live stream playlist to watch all 100 days in full live. Just a little shameless plug. None too special. I then headed back up to the surface to get back working on the walls. But I need to take a dump. So why is that relevant? Because as soon as I left, I went from having 7 viewers to 21 viewers. Great. Awesome. When I came back, I went back down to 9 viewers. This happens all the time and I don't know why. Regardless... I went back down again to mine some more stone. Once I gathered enough, I went to build the entrance to the castle courtyard. Also, this stream happened on Women's Day, so you already know, it's my favorite day to celebrate, okay? Uh, I just woke up. Women's Day, oh yeah. Women's Day? Did somebody say Women's Day? Hell yeah. Women's Day, rock on. I extended the pathway once again for the entrance and on day 90 I lit some fires. To start off day 90 properly, I had a great bird's eye view of the castle and man, not sound like I'm tooting my own horn here, but it genuinely looks great in my opinion. That then inspired me to keep on working on finishing the front of the castle, so I did. I spent 70% of day 90 working on the front of the castle before then moving on to the inside. More specifically, the upstairs rooms. Now something I forgot to mention was the fact that my elytra actually broke after getting that amazing bird's eye view of the castle and I was low key convinced that that was the end of my elytra unless I reset the end which I wasn't gonna do. But then a tab came in at the perfect moment with a great tip that I generally never thought of because I'm so used to using mending but I didn't have mending in this world. He told me to kill the phantoms for phantom membranes to repair my elytra. Thank you Atab. The start of day 91 I finished the stairway up to the upstairs main room that leads into other rooms if that makes sense. Also in case we're getting bored here's another tour of Stampy's bedroom. We built Stampy's room. Wow, wow. Stampy's room boys Stampy's room. If you guys like it let me know. I then switched back to building the right wall and nearly finished it but then ran out of cobble again. That keep happening man. You know the drill I went back down and mined more stone only to head back up build a bit then run back down to get more stone. It's a never ending cycle of sadness and disappointment. Just like my life. 
to be honest. Well, that got dark fast. Speaking of getting dark fast, it is now day 92, meaning we only have eight days left. I mean, actually only seven days left because it's now day 93. I just finished mining cobble in the morning and climbed back up to finally finish the walls. Yay! For the rest of day 93, I worked on the upstairs of my castle and gathered more materials. I continued building in the rain while building a glass dome in the center of the ceiling, which took all day because it takes a lot of technique and skill, I'll have you know. Before the morning of day 95, I started working on the first room of the castle, building walls and a little nice double bed for me and my Minecraft girlfriend. I proceeded to build up the walls and placing brick with one fence on it. I don't know, don't ask me. It was all 4J Studios. I then went to the second Woodland Mansion to try to find some bookshelves, to which I couldn't find. Out of disappointment and the fact that it was almost 3 o'clock in the morning, I ended my stream. I am now recording. Hell yeah. I just want to start this off by saying two things. I apologize for my voice sounding weird. I'm currently sick, but I'm not going to wait until I'm healed because I need to get this video out in three days. The second thing is, I just want to say a huge thank you for making it this fair. It genuinely means a lot. I carried on from the previous stream on day 95 in the Woodland Mansion. I had one last swoop around for some books before giving up and going back home. Once I got back home, I continued to work on the upstairs room, finished it right before day 96 rolled around. I got a shiny forehead and the women love it. Yo, CMO with the member, bro. Thank you, man. Thank you, boys. Can we get some W's for CMO with the big, big uh, member? Thank you, man. I appreciate it. A lot. I really do appreciate it. It means a lot, bro. So thank you. Once the morning of day 96 arrived, I started work on the second room, which is also just another bedroom, which I had actually built incorrectly. So on the morning of day 97, I rebuilt it, only to build it wrong again. Typical feed sons, man. I did eventually build it properly, but by that time, it was already the evening. I went wood chopping anyway, and I came back to an epic skeleton battle. What? Who do you think I am? No tea for 13 hours, man. What the hell? That sounds like torture. Yo, skeleton wars. Skeleton wars. Skeleton wars. In case you're wondering who won, I am actually not sure. I then placed some furniture like beds and bookshelves, which took until the start of day 98. We still had one more room to do, the portal room, which was easy. It's literally just an empty room with a portal on the side. I say easy, but it actually took all day. Embarrassing. I noticed I had run out of food, which was the last thing I expected after 98 days in this world, but whatever. So on the morning of day 99, I flew over to the jungle to get some melons. While I was looking for some, my chat was begging me to light the wooden mansion on fire. After a lot of peer pressure, I did it. Not very effectively though. Fire spreads is on. That's what's going on. Oh. So I went back home to get some more flint and really set the mansion on fire. Also, my voice is more gone than last time because it's been a day since I did the last recording, so I apologize. Bear with me, the video's nearly over. Just give me a second, all right? Just give me a second. Since it was the last day and I haven't done it yet, I went back to the base again to make a beacon. That really finished off the castle, in my opinion. I then went back to the mansion, pillared up, and watched it burn until day 100. And that was it. 100 days. This was truly one of the best series I've ever done. I hope you guys enjoyed this journey as much as I have. This video genuinely took four months to edit, record, make, mainly because of the subtitles, but that's okay. If you guys want to watch the full uncut, unedited parts of the series, I put the live stream playlist in the description. Also, all the music I used in this video is also in the description. And of course, the NordVPN link is at the top of the description. Boys, please protect yourself online with NordVPN and watch your favorite shows on Netflix as well, while supporting me. And if you're watching this video between the 21st of March and the 12th of June, NordVPN are currently doing a special offer. You can save up to 69% off, boys. Oh my gosh. Plus three months extra. Woo! So thank you to NordVPN for helping me out with this video. And thank you to anyone who buys NordVPN with my affiliate link. It means a lot. Again, thank you guys for watching. Thank you to all that were there live. And thank you to those who donated or became member as well. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.